the Greybeard Linux people are pissed off because OpenSUSE came out with a new installer that doesn't look like it came out of the 1990s. I found Yast to be really, really useful, but it's old. This is Yast, and look, Yast looks the same on the GUI version as it does, more or less, in the terminal version. And for somebody like me, I found it really, really useful to be able to have a tool like this where I could just quickly go in and have a nice little GUI in the terminal to use on remote desktops. It's really similar, and it made things easy to find, provided that you're, you know, comfortable with using a terminal interface like this. It's nice. But alas, all of the YAS tools are deprecated, which means that they will be slowly going away. It doesn't mean that it's just like gone, gone. Now on the software management side, the tool that they're replacing the software management GUI with is going to be something called Merlin. And I haven't gotten a chance to try that out yet. For the majority of the admin stuff, they're switching over to Cockpit, which is something that was made by Red Hat Enterprise Linux. OpenSUSE is my distribution of choice. I love what they do. Here's what pissed off the Greybeards on Reddit. Yast, the entire suite, has been deprecated, and they're switching to different tools to handle all the stuff that Yast used to. One of those tools is Agama. This is the new installer for OpenSUSE distribution. It is web-based. And whenever people hear that, they think, oh no, it connects to the internet. No, man, it just means that it's a web app. Like, it can just run locally. The same way that you can run, like, paperless NGX out of a Docker container or something like that. I came across a Reddit post where a Linux system administrator and somebody who claims to have been a developer on a major Linux distribution were trashing Agama, saying that it was absolutely horrible. Um, one thing that they said for the sysadmin, he said that you can't do the same like automation routine that you used to be able to do with Yast. And I don't think that that's necessarily true because I'm showing that they have a command line interface and that you can automate installations from what looks like just uploading a JSON. So Agama was launched uh, in, in conjunction with uh, OpenSUSE Leap 16. I'm going to be installing this soon. I want to give it a shot and see how it goes. And I'll, uh, I'll check out what the Agama thing is all about. Like, I'll, I'll dig into it. The last time I tried it, I did it with uh, Aeon, and it was a really nice experience. Like, everything was modern. Everything went through really fast. Um, there was no guesswork that needed to be done. It was just, like, click, click, and then, boom, start up. And I was done.